This is Mike from Minimal 3 d p and today I'm continuing my series comparing slicers. And today I'm going to look at the difference in organic slash tree support in the latest version of Prusa and the latest version of Cura. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this latest test, what I've done is I've angled a Banshee at 45 degrees, and then I've tried to match the settings for the organic tree supports in Prusa to the settings in the latest version of Cura. And so right now, here's the preview of the model in Prusa, and then let's go ahead and switch over to it, take a look at it in Cura. So here is the preview of the model in Cura, and I'm just gonna point out, that if you look at the bottom of the Banshee, there's no support. If I switch back over to Prusa, there is support. So you can see the support is underneath the Banshee. And again, I've tried to match settings, um, unfortunately, the naming convention isn't the same between the two pieces of software, so it can be a little difficult. Because I have the preview, I've exported the G code to my Creality CR6 SE, and I've started printing. So here is the Prusa model printing, and once I'm finished, I'll come back and we'll review the results of both the Prusa model and the Cura 5.4 model. So I've completed printing my two Banshees. This is the Prusa Slicer Banshee. This is the Cura Banshee. And you'll notice that on the bottoms here, Prusa Slicer has support on the bottom where Cura does not. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to peel this off. We can take a look at the model. Notice I'm struggling a little bit to get the support off. Might actually have to use our pliers to pull this bit off. Now I'm struggling on both the Prusa Slicer version and the Cura. So at least as of right now, they're tied. I really don't like how the Prusa Slicer did the end here. Let's put this aside. Oops, and I still have a piece stuck in here, so let's get their tweezers. Pull this out. Then let's go ahead and see if we can get Prusa Slicer, or I'm sorry, the Cura Slicer. Now, these both did a good job, although I will admit this is the Cura version. And I'm having a lot more trouble seeing the layer lines here. I can see the layer lines a little bit more prominently in Prusa Slicer. There's another piece of it. Now, Prusa Slicer didn't do a good job here at the end. Cura, you can actually see the writing a little bit here. It's still not great, but that has a lot to do with that 45 degree angle. Now, so comparing these two, I'm not seeing a lot of difference. Looking at these real closely, I, mean, I, I guess I can see layer lines in both, maybe a little less prominently in the Cura version. Looking at the text on the bottom. That still looks pretty good. So I think mainly that the organic support, I liked both versions. I think there was a little bit more of a quality issue here at the end where I set this off the bed, maybe with Prusa Slicer, but not a whole lot. So all in all, I think both of these did a good job. Going back to my analysis, 
believe that if I was to weigh these, the Pura slicer probably used a little bit more filament, but not significantly more. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I want to thank you for joining me today. Hopefully, if you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. Feel free to subscribe. You can also drop me an email at minimal3dp at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a good day.